whatever the world throws at you, take it on. This is my Be unstoppable. The all-new 2015 Ford Edge. Coach Reese been odd. A month ago, you're 16 and 7. You don't know that you're even going to be in the NCAA tournament. Here you are at the Elite Eight. What's that last month been like in, in that run to get here today? Okay, so you know we we uh, we we had four games left in our year, and we knew we had a four-game season that was very important. And uh, we challenged our players to understand that they needed to finish the year 20 and 7. And uh, we knew we had some road games in there, and uh, we went ahead and we did finish at 20 and seven. And then we knew we had to go into the conference tournament, and we just felt like we get in the conference tournament done well. We get into the NCAA regional, and and, uh, and we did. And I just think we started peaking at the right time. I thought we were a little bit slow this year. I'm getting a little bit older. I didn't push the right buttons probably early enough. And I think as coaches, we always look push the button sometime in February where we can start to peak a little bit and we can start to find uh, you know, what we need to do to get that extra extra run. And, uh, and I did struggle with it there for about two, you know, about a week. And uh, and I guess, you know, I finally found the button to push finally and we did. And, and when we did, we, we, we started to peak at the right time. Questions? Back. Travis Flossing from Kello TV in Sioux Falls. Coach Reisman, uh, can you share your thoughts, impressions on Augustana? Do they ever miss? Mm -hmm. I mean, they got great shooters. Uh, I was very impressed when I watched film on them. They're very, they're, you know, they're very well coached. They got a great coaching staff. You can see that they, they, uh, they really know their roles on the floor. Uh, they have a great, tremendous IQ to play the game, and and uh, you can tell again that Tom put a great team together because they play well together. And and uh, I was just very, very impressed with uh, with uh, with their with their players, and I was very impressed with uh, with their coaching staff. Coach Builder, um, what have you learned about your team, you know, through the conference tournament and through the regional tournament? Um, the last two games of conference tournament, I mean, of the regional tournament, for every game there, you guys had to fight either against a really strong player or a really strong team. So what have you learned about your team that the regular season didn't show you? Well, I think, you know, come tournament time like that, it's you're playing teams in the same boat we're all in, the seniors that don't want to be done playing and we played a great player in Baronet from, from Nebraska Kearney and different situations like that. I think what you end up doing and sometimes, not in our case all the time, some other kids step up maybe that you aren't expecting or maybe do something a little bit better or a little bit different. Um, what I learned in the tournament more than anything was our kids that needed to play well did, but I thought I was, uh, you know, had a couple other kids that really did some things for us that had that not happened we would not be sitting up here uh, up here today. So I, I appreciate the kind words Coach uh, Reisman, Reisman said, but I also um, would also echo the fact and, and exactly what he said, I think we're all peaking a little bit right now. I thought we played better in the postseason tournaments than maybe we've been playing for the couple weeks before that. And I wish you could show me those buttons. I'd be looking for that big button to push too. But I think the, what's it, you know, it's getting a little more near the end. And I think it's good to step up and, and really do a great job Good, good and great players make good and great plays this time of the year, and they just don't want to be done. And everybody up here can echo those exact same words, trust me. We all have some close tournament games, trust me. Um, you know, obviously the regular season for you guys was what it was, and you know, you had to fight late on to get um, kind of into the NCAA tournament and then have a good conference tournament. But being ranked um, number one, number two, number three, whatever, at the beginning of the season, does that mean anything to you now? Well, being ranked number one early in the season, all, all that's good for is recruiting, actually. I mean, that's, that's about all it's good for. And uh, I think it puts expectations out of perspective sometimes. And, uh, uh, you know, sometimes you're ranked that way because of what you had done the year before. And, and so uh, I didn't really know if we were, you know, I, I think at our level sometimes we really don't know who number one is. Um, but, uh, you know, I think that uh, that might even have hurt us a little bit earlier in the year. And uh, to come down, you know, and come down to earth a little bit. Uh, and so, but you know, I think that uh, that we we like I said late in the year, we we had a, you know we lost we lost uh, eight games or five games this year by by ten points. So it was very close. We lost a double overtime by one. We lost a couple of games by two. We lost another <coughs> overtime by three. We were in we were in some very tight games, and. Uh, 
usually those are the type of games that we that in the past we had pulled out. So we experienced a little bit of adversity. I think sometimes through a season, if you don't if you don't ex experience some adversity, then you know it, I think it helps. I think it helps mature your team. Now I don't like adversity all the time, but it did help us mature our team. And I think by having that adversity that we experienced, I think that helped us get through the get through the last four games of the season. It, it, we pushed the right button. We got into the regional, and, and we're here again today. Got time for one more question. Your comments on uh, bringing the Vikings to the Elite Eight this year? I think everyone is the same. You know, it's just a, it's a great venue for it. The uh, city does a very nice job of it. We're very happy to be here. Um, we played to get here three times at Augie, and one time when I was at North Dakota State, had we not got in, I'd be the Mark Levy of Division II college basketball. Some of you old enough to know the Buffalo Bills coach, so it might mean something to some of you. My team didn't get anything out of that. But, um, no, we're just, uh, it's, it's just an honor. And, and, you know, for your seniors and for your players, it's just such a great experience. Now, you mentioned your seniors. You've got three outstanding seniors, Daniel Jansen, Casey Schilling, and Alex Richter. How has that trio shaped the program and helped them get where you are today? Well, you know, we're unique, uh, and I agree with everything Butch said. We don't have a transfer on our roster. You know, we don't have one. We're all high school kids that we recruit. We have academic restrictions. Um, these are just really great kids, and I've, there's not a bad kid in this tournament. Don't get me wrong, but these kids, for what they've done, uh, they're, they're sophomore year to win 16 games, go 16 and 14, and then to be where we are now. It means a lot to them. Uh, I know they're not ready to be done playing. This guy sitting very close to me will have something to do with that. Uh, uh, come tomorrow, but uh, you know, you, you you play for your entire team. But I do have a I have a special group of seniors that uh, I know are, are you know determined and, and wanting to, to keep playing. Moving on, we have Lon Reisman, head coach of the Charleston State Texans. Coach, your thoughts on being in the Elite Eight? <coughs> well, you know, it's always a great it's a great time of the year to be here, and you get to meet a lot of great people. And there's a bunch of great coaches up on this stage right now, and we know how hard it's going to be to play. You know. Play in this in this tournament. It's it's tough every you know. We were fortunate to be here last year and and, uh, and a few other times. And it's 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 just a you know it's it's a lot of hard work. And I don't think you know I think we all understand how hard it is to get here. It is extremely hard to get to this point when you talk about over 300 schools that are trying to get to this 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 elite eight. And and uh, we're extremely we're extremely uh, excited to be here. We're extremely excited to be in Texas. Um, and uh, we know that it's going to be a, you know, it's going to be a, a great field of outstanding universities here that are competing for the national championship, and, and we're just proud to be one of the ones that, that, that's a part of it. Now you mentioned last year of the competing institutions. This year, you're the only one that's making a return appearance. What can you bring from last year's experience to help you this year? Well, you know, we have some seniors that, or some juniors that became seniors this year that have played in the Elite Eight before, and I'm hoping that experience helps them some. Um, you know they uh, they've worked hard to get back to to get back here and and, uh, and I think they're looking forward to to playing here and, and, and being a part of this you know the tremendous lead eight in Frisco Texas and Frisco's done a great job and and uh, you know we're looking forward to our, the opportunities and I know everyone else up here is looking for those opportunities I know they're everyone's here to compete and and everyone deserves to be here and and uh, it's just you know we all understand how hard it is to move forward.